Mabuhay mga kumare! Welcome to the Secret Lounge where we will get to know more of your favorite beauty queens and pageant kings. As in, we will talk about everything. This is your Maring Mary Jean. Relax ka lang dyan. Dahil today, sagot ko ang Cheka. Nikki Demora, Miss Grand Cagayanio City! Our Miss Photogenic is Miss Grand Cagayan de Oro City, Nikki Devora. You are way closer to the crown because you made it as well, Miss Grand Cagayan de Oro City, Nikki Advincula de Maura. Miss Grant, Cagayan de Oro City. The temperatures rise and take me for a ride. Oh, it's so amazing. We got the chemistry. Regular highs when you give me ecstasy. Miss Philippine Airlines is Miss Grant, Cagayan de Oro City, Nikki Demura. Congratulations, Miss Grand Cagayan de Oro City, Nikki Demora. Miss Grand Philippines 2023 is Miss Cagayan de Oro City, Nikki Ademura. Mga kumare, request nyo na ito, kaya pinagbigyan namin kayo. Our guest for today, walang iba kundi si Nikki Demora, our Miss Grand Philippines 2023! So happy to be here. I'm very happy that I know you've been busy. Pageant is fast approaching. You've been preparing and uh, you know your obligations as Miss Grand Philippines. Yes. But thank you, Mare, for being here thank with you us. Thank you having me. Do you understand what Mare is? Of course. Okay. But ito gusto namin, gusto ko lang i-address sa ating mga kumare dyan, the right pronunciation of your family name. It's actually Nikki Jimora. Jimora. But because in here, you know, they have a hard time pronouncing it, yeah. we just stick to Demora. But it's Jimora. But Jimora, in, yeah. you're half what? Half half Brazilian. Half, half Brazilian. Brazilian. So in Brazil, they read D as, as G. 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 Sometimes ah. when it comes to D, it's like J. Oh, we learned <laughs> something today, Mare. Something new every day. I love it. But are you ready? I am. That's not the question. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot more to ask. <laughs> okay, let's begin. From being a supermodel to becoming a beauty queen, what made you decide switch runways and why Miss Grand? Because there's so many, you know, beauty pageants in mm -hmm. the Philippines right now. So doing modeling really allowed me to be more artistic and mm -hmm. creative, mm -hmm. which I really loved and it taught me a lot. But being a beauty queen allows me to really present who I am and what I stand for. Mm -hmm. And of course, I chose Miss Grand because there's no winner yet for Miss Grand Philippines. Yes. So I hope to be the first one to yes. get that golden crown. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, we've been, uh, you know, really craving for that yeah. golden crown. We have one for Miss World. We have four now for Miss Universe. We have a couple for Miss International, but Miss Grand has been far away. Yeah. <laughs> so we're rooting for you with that. And before the competition started, the noise about the Miss Grand Philippines has been crazy. It's all over social media. And the derby between, you know, the candidates has been, and yeah. their fans has been ongoing. How did you keep the focus on the competition? Honestly, my family says this a lot, and I think it's like kind of a blessing and a curse, but I'm very unbothered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've always been very calm or very focused on my own 
kind of you know passed mm -hmm. so even though there might be haters from other candidates i really don't mind i swear are you used to it i'm used to it yeah but, but i just at the young age you're like you know i love that <laughs> you know how to focus because i i remembered when i was young when i was young <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, I mean, when I was your age, uh -huh. I don't think I'd be able to handle that. Or I felt like at least when I was 19, I wasn't ready for big competitions like this. Cause well, a lot of trainings. Yes. And I have done a few competitions before. So mm -hmm. doing that also has helped me kind of know what's going to happen mm -hmm. or what to expect. So I'm not so new to it. Yes, and it's good that you're surrounded by, you know, good, good people. people. Yeah, yes. good people who can support you. Have an you amazing win. team. I love that. Okay. For sure, you know now the f how fancy the staging of Miss Grand Inter International is. Yeah, international. How do you intend to impress Nawat? Ano yung pasabog mo? Do you know what pasabog is? Yes. Mare English English tayo dito. Pasensya na. <laughs> do you know what pasabog? Uh oh. Okay. My pasabog, I think, would definitely be my walk mm -hmm. and maybe my dance because I know there will be like a dance portion and I've took dancing classes for a year. So being dancing and being dan oh sorry and dancing and being creative is really like something I'm good at. Not singing though, I wish I really could sing. Brazilians are such a good dancer. They I are. Feel like, I feel yeah. like too. They're so talented. I think Filipinos, so talented. Filipinos are known to be more of a singer. Brazilians, I really think like the groove is just... Mm. Oh, I think Filipinos are good with like hip hop. Oh yeah. And K-pop too. But you've been dancing even before you took the lesson, the dancing lessons. Yes. Because <laughs> when I started training for, for the pageant walk, it was easier because if you dance, you can already, you know, you yeah. have the you the have pacing, the rhythm, the yeah. rhythm, everything. So it's a lot easier, and the hip movements, right. and the arms, right. it's fun. We're so excited because I was able to watch Miss Grand International live, and oh. I've seen how energetic it is. So and the lightings and everything. Yes, it and so it's, fun. it's such an entertaining show. So I'm really, <laughs> really looking forward to what you've prepared for this um, upcoming international competition. Thank you. There had been online petitions to boycott the pageant just because the Philippines never had won a single crown. Of course, we've been talking about that. What's your take on this? And should the pageant fans give it another chance? Yes, I think they should definitely give it another chance because, you know, us Filipinos, again, we're so talented, mm. we're so skilled, and I can really feel that this year we do have a very strong chance on getting that crown. So, just give it another chance. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let, let's be supportive. I know, you know, sometimes it... It's very frustrating. It's frustrating. Yes. To see the pressure, like you've, you've been supporting, and then you see your candidate not make it, even mm -hmm. if you believe that you know yes. she's she deserves it. But other girls deserves it too, if ever. Like whatever True. happens, but whatever I mean, happens, the support happens. means so much for the candidate, right? It does. Yeah. Okay. The pageant is happening in October, right? Have you researched who the representatives of other countries are? And so far, who is your like best competition for you? I think my best competition would either be Miss Colombia because mm -hmm. she has been a beauty queen for a long time. So she's very not new to the pageant. Mm -hmm. She's a very strong candidate. Mm -hmm. And also her body, oh my God, she's so fit. And then also Miss Czech Republic mm -hmm. and maybe Miss Indonesia. Czech Republic because she's also a singer, she's very talented. Mm. And Indonesia because she's so pretty. So when you say <laughs> you, you've done your research, do you also <laughs> watch how they moved? Are you trying to be like, girls? you know, yeah, to be different from all the others? Or I have. That's I have been rewatching mm -hmm. it over mm -hmm. and over each candidate mm -hmm. and I see what are their you know strongest yes. attributes and mm -hmm. weakness mm -hmm. and I also just kind of make up my own mm -hmm. so I can you know be different and mm -hmm. stand out from them. I love that. Palaban mare. The golden <laughs> crown is so elusive. And unahan ko na kayo mga kumare ko. Magtatanong na ako sa iyo nito. Why do you deserve to become the first Miss Grand International from the Philippines? I think I deserve it because 
I have been putting so much effort and time into this, into the training, my team as well. And I can really believe in my team mm -mm. and just the love and support from the Filipinos. And I think, you know, we, we deserve to get a crown already. <laughs> it's been 11 years. <laughs> this is the 11th year, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so sana nga, we are really hoping for that. But whatever happened, you know, we're, we are a sport. Like, we're trying to be a sport Aww. in any competition. But yes. as much as we can, let's keep the hope that we bring home the crown this time. And on to our next segment, mga kumare, ang What You Think, Mare. Kailangan mo lang sumagot ng sa true. You say sa true. Sa true. If you no, think that the statement is true. Or very wrong if you don't believe in it. Okay, some local candidates are claiming that mixed-raced Filipinas always has an advantage. Sa true or very wrong? Very wrong. <laughs> Advantage, you no, no matter mix, what, really, or even if you're full Filipino or not. Yeah, I'm diba? not saying that you know full Filipinas cannot do it, but yeah, you know the mix of cultures and countries. I think it really makes you like such a beautiful person. And I feel like most of the but Filipinos are, are half yeah. anyway. It's like we've been Spanish for so also. long. Yeah. 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 Okay, Samantha Bernardo should have won the title in 2020. So true or very so wrong? true. Oh, oh, so true. Yes. Yes. Miss Grand International should be already considered as part of the big four. So true or very so wrong? True. So true. So true. The runaway winner should be based on popularity votes. So true or very wrong? Very wrong. Mm -hmm. Beauty queens should set a their love life to focus on the crown. So true or very wrong? It should be a good balance <laughs> in between. <laughs> you have a love life. I mean, it, yeah. Ah, that's why. <laughs> but it's a good balance in prioritizing. Right, you know? right. You so don't have to choose one of the do other. Do you think you're doing good so far? I am. I'm doing very good. <laughs> I love that. The pressure to be a Philippine representative is so overwhelming. So true or very wrong? So true. Yes, and the next Miss Grand International is a 19-year-old queen from Cagayan de Oro. So true or very so wrong? So true. Oh, let's claim it. Okay, next segment natin ay ang Spill the Tea. Ito na ang final Q&A mo. Are you ready? Yes, I think, I think so. you've been ready for this. <laughs> okay. Since the first year that the Philippine had been sending a representative in Miss Grand International, Mr. Nawat has been accused of being biased. Do you think he really plays it fair? If I have to be honest, when I first joined Miss Grand, I wasn't so familiar with the competition. Mm -hmm. But ever since I joined and I passed the screening, I really made sure to watch a lot of uh, videos, YouTube videos, and really research about the pageant, the past years, the past right. queens. And Everything's I can, on YouTube right yes, now. Yeah. Everything, or even mm -hmm. Facebook. Yeah. And I can really say that, you know, from watching the competition, that Nawat has been very fair. Okay, so yan na mga kumare. It's up to you to support her. <laughs> what has been your your uh, preparations? I know that you're about to fly to Vietnam, right? Yes, on October 3. Yes. Very soon. So, kumusta? Kumusta ang preparations <laughs> and everything? Are you ready? Like, how many percent? I'd this. say like 80%. I'm a fast learner. Mm -hmm. My trainers can say that. I've been mm -hmm. doing a lot of passerella trainings with Ian. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, it has been very fun mm -hmm. because I know Miss Grant is really about like was it hard to transition from pageant walking to from runway runway modeling walking to pageant walking? Honestly, kind of. It's yeah. hard, no? It was hard. Yeah. Because the body and even your face and the aura is very different. Right. But so far it has been very fun. Mm -hmm. and I'm so Are you excited? excited? <laughs> the turns and have you been talking online to other candidates? I like have, making I friends? I, I know that you're very I excited actually to meet them. I met up with Miss Grand Russia. Oh! I did. And I think I will be meeting Miss Grand Australia. Mm -hmm today or tomorrow so yeah okay so before we end this episode we want to hear it first here 
sa The Secret Lounge with Marrying MJ. Your introduction, of course. Sa darating na Miss Grand International. Let's yes. do it. Nikki Demora, Miss Grand Philippines! Yes! <laughs> we are so excited, mga Mari. Supportahan po natin siya at you know, personally, I really enjoyed watching Miss Grand International. So I'm looking forward to supporting and cheering and screaming yes, you for you. Me. Thank and you. I really wish you the best. And whatever happens, please enjoy your journey, your I experience. I know that, okay. as I can see, you're very, very young. This is not going to be the last competition for you. You're gorgeous. <laughs> you're, Thank you. you know, you're, you're willing to learn, to embrace new challenges. So, mabuhay ka, Nikki. And see you, mga kumare! Thank you! Alam mo, akala mo doon nagtatapos. You have to take a photo of me. <gasps> oh my God! I'm gonna see that! Wait, yes! Okay, we can continue rolling. Yes! Okay. Before we end this, okay? <laughs> Gulat siya, parang siya nanalo ng corona. You wanna sit here because the lighting. Oh, against the light! Against the I light. love that! Change position. Ooh. Okay. Oh. One, two, those curves. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye, mga mare. Bye. -bye. Ayun na nga mga mare, napagbigyan na talaga namin kayo. Nag-i-guest na namin si Nikki dito. At bago pa talaga lumipad sa Miss Grand International, nagaganapin sa Vietnam. What I really love about meeting beauty queens na nanalo na nationally, no? Yung eto si Nikki, napaka-natural niya. Yung talagang at such a young age. She really knows who she is. She knows what she wants. And she knows how heavy uh, an obligation is. So talagang pinaghahandaan niya, ginagawa niya ang lahat para may represent ng maayos ang Philippines. And of course, to prepare herself in the, sa mabigat na sabak na kakaharapin niya. So what we could do is less negativity online. Let's just be more positive. Support her. Like, I know that... Uh, we cannot control what other people would say, you know? Like, lagi at lagi yan yung mga taga-ibang bansa may sasabihin sa inyo. But choose your own words how you're going to react to the things that you read online. So let's just keep the vibe positive. I know that sometimes you may be dismayed of the things, yun yung mga re result ng mga sinusuportahan natin competition. But sometimes it is what it is. Let's enjoy the journey. And if we win the crown, then it's great. Let's support Nikki and let's support Miss Grand International. Bye mga mare! Subscribe and support our channel!